take 57. Let's see how we get on this time around. A couple of days ago, I did a potato reveal and dug out these little chaps. These tiny potatoes that have got a little shoot root or whatever that is on the end of them. So, to me, they are eager to get going, eager to grow. So what I'm going to do is plant a couple of these tiny potatoes to see if we get any potatoes from them. It's as simple as that, much like myself. Anyway, let me show you what I've got going on here. I've got these two pots, as you can see, hand for scale. They're sort of like, I don't know, a medium sized pot. Is that the technical term it is now? It's not wrong with my lens there, it looks a bit mucky. Let me, let me just do a bit of this. Is that any better? Probably not. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got some multi-purpose compost in the bottom of there. And all I'm going to do is place one of these little spuds. Actually, let's do it right now. There you go. Put them in the bottom there. Shoot pointing up. Um, I'll cover it up in a second. And uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this one. It's got nothing in it. So let's go back to that one. And what we'll do is we'll uh, water it, feed it, cross our fingers. Hopefully, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll get a potato plant, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, let me get and plant the second little spudlet. It's not a bad name for them. Spudlet. There you go. Let me give it a bit of a feed, and uh, we'll cover them up. I got this old box of potato fertilizer from last year. And honestly, when I just tipped it out, it, I mean, it looks terrible. So I'm not going to use any of this stuff. I'm just going to add the compost and away we go. Give it a go. Covered. First spudlet. Been put to bed. That's it, I haven't topped the compost up right to the top. I'm just gonna wait for something magical, or in this case, maybe tragical, to happen. So I'll report back if something does germinate and does happen. Incidentally, it's in this kind of tray here. I'm gonna water it from the bottom, so I'll fill this tray up with water and the compost will wick the water up from below and hopefully those little spudlets will start to grow. Let's see what happens. Well check this out people, those two tiny sea potatoes, it looks like they're starting to grow. I need to top these pots up with more compost and we'll continue to chart their progress. This is exciting. I've topped their pots up with compost. They will continue to grow through that and no doubt we will see what they produce at the end of the season. Well, as you can see, this tiny potato plant didn't make it. However, this one has. It's leaning to one side a little, but I don't think that's going to affect it very much. At least we'll have something to go at at the end of its growing season. It's the back end of summer, and as you can see, the potato plant is well and truly brown bread. Right, let's tip it up and see if we get any potatoes at all. Hmm, it's not look wow. I was just about to say it's not looking hopeful. Oh my god. Look at those beauties. 
There we go. There is the original potato. Look how tiny that was. We're getting more potatoes. Let me just put them here. Jesus, look at this. Well, that is amazing as far as I'm concerned. I've got 10 potatoes back from that tiny, tiny potato that I originally planted. It was probably a little bit smaller than this fella here. Look at this. Look at these guys. I am well happy with that return. That is amazing. Well now, I think this little experiment has been a roaring success. I'm so pleased with the amount that I've got back. It's definitely a meal there. And I'll definitely be doing this again next year with the tiny potatoes. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me if you have. Remember to hit the like button if you like the video, share it if you fancy sharing it, subscribe to the channel because that always helps. But most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next one, bye for now.